Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to go over iterables, specifically lists. An iterable basically is a variable which can contain more than one value at any given time. If you remember, int a equals 1, a equals 4, print a, it's 4. We um, declare it, we initialize it, we change the value, and the value is 4. So at any given time, a variable can only hold one value, correct? So a lit any iterable is a variable that can contain more than one value at any given time. The simplest thing is a list. List A equals, and what you do is you use the straight brackets, and you put a bunch of different values inside of here. 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, Okay, let's not make it too, too long, though. Keep it on the same level. Print A, and this is the list. So all of these values inside of here are it contained in that one variable. Okay, so a couple of characteristics to this. This is an ordered system. So there is an order to this. The order goes the zero place, the one place, two, three, four, and so on. It always starts with zero. And why is this important? Well, we can access this information. So if I put the brackets next to the name of the variable, when I access it, when I get the value, and I put the zero, what's it going to do? It's going to print A in the zero position, which would be number one, correct? There we go. And what if I put 6, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the last one, it'll be Hello World. All right? So a couple of things to keep in mind with lists. Notice that repeating is perfectly fine. That is not a problem at all. Um, this is, by default, dynamic, okay? Because um, remember, Dart is an optionally typed language. You don't have to type this. Yes, this is the type, but the values or objects, right? These are all objects. Inside of the brackets, they, they do not have to be the same type. So integers, bool, str string, and double itself. But how often do you actually want to have a list of unlike things? When you talk about, like, things you want to pick up at the supermarket. You're probably not going to be listing airplane, um, dogs, unless you're at a dog store of course, or a pet store, of course, but just like a supermarket, right? You're, you're probably not going to list pounds, how many pounds I weigh on that grocery list, right? So generally, you have a list of like things, things that have something in common. That's what makes it a list. So let's just say, for example, I wanted to make this all integers. I would put the greater than and less than sign. It's on the right of the M on the keyboard, and I put int or string or bool or whatever you want to do. And so basically, all of these values need to be integers. Now, notice it's not giving me a warning at this point in time. Don't worry about it. We'll get to that in future videos, okay? That's when we start adding and subtracting from the list, but again, we'll do that in the future. If you want it to be a little more strict, you put it on this side, right here. And this will give you warnings in the very, very beginning itself. It'll still run, right? It'll still actually run, but it'll def definitely give you a warning saying, hey, you're not actually supposed to do this. So this is called parameterized type. So parameterized type, basically, it's you have the list, you have the variable, and you give it a type in and of itself for the contents of the list inside. All right? So let's remove all of this. And again, you can put the int 
either on this side of the equal side or on this side right before the variable right after the type you can always do that either one would be perfectly acceptable I've actually seen it more on this side than anything else but again any either side is acceptable alright so that's it with lists and we'll keep going on thank you